Hey everybody, Tron Crusher here, hope you guys have fantastic day full of happiness. Welcome to the channel. And in today's video, I want to do something that I've never done before, and that is making a tier list for guns and escape from Tarkov. As you probably know, my channel revolves around making gun guides for this game, and at the end of each video, I always uh, rank these guns to see how they stack against each other. And I strongly suggest to go and watch those videos if you want to have more information about each gun and the specific build that I suggest you use it. So without further ado, let's crush it. All right, now we are back. Let's talk tier list. First thing I want to point out here is, as you can see, this is only assault carbine tier list, and the reason for that is there's 50 plus guns in the game, and if I wanted to rank all of them in one video, it would be like 45 minute to an hour long video, and I don't want to do that in this channel. Also, the chart would be so cramped with all the guns, and it would be just a mess. So I rather to do like smaller videos, shorter videos uh, with just uh, categories. Uh, this is for assault carbines. The next it's gonna be assault rifles. Then we're gonna move to the SMGs, pistols, and so on and so forth. First gun is ADAR. Uh, I'm going to put this right in the A tier. As you know, ADAR is uh, just good gun in the game. It uses the 556 caliber, which is the most popular caliber in the game. You can get it relatively early. Uh, from skier I, I, in the past couple wipes it got more expensive i think where this gun shines the best is when you unlock the 856a1 and you can mod a little bit from level 2 and 3 peacekeeper and skier then at that point you can mod a little bit put a, a magnified scope on it and then just go in town and shoot everybody in the longer ranges snipe people with it and i think that's the best way to run this gun next gun is rfb um, for this one i put it on c i really don't like this gun that much uh there's a couple reasons one is you cannot put um tactical device on it so basically close quarter and hip firing is just not good with this gun um secondly um, it has a lot of recoil so it's better for longer ranges and sniping if you put uh, something like valde or elcan on it and suppress it and go use the 308 to snipe people but also that comes with some problem because right now the only way you can get a good 308 ammo is at peacekeeper level 4 with m80 which at that point you already have much better options on 308 next we have lone star tx15 i'm gonna put that right in the b tier for me i like this gun and you may say oh it's better than adar but yeah at what cost it costs around 300,000 rubles if you want to buy it from skier and if you want to buy it the stripped up version from uh the flea market it's still 100k it's a little bit better it has higher fire cap uh it recenters a little bit faster than adar but it's much more expensive than adar all right next gun is going to be vapor hunter or vpo 101 however you want to name it uh this gun is going to write to see again uh, same problems at rfb uh, you need to have peacekeeper level 4 to have access to m80s the only difference is uh, technically you can use a tactical device on this one uh, because you can put the cobra dovetail mount and then uh, add your sight or scope on top of that and the side rail on cobra dovetail mount lets you to use a tactical device but on the other hand this gun only comes with five or ten rounder magazines while RFV comes with 20 rounder magazines or even 30 rounders. So there's some trade-offs here. You get a tactical device but a smaller magazine. Still not a great gun. I don't recommend using it. Next gun is going to be VPO136 and that goes right to the A tier. Uh, it's a great gun. As you probably see, all these streamers, everybody who takes this game a little bit serious, uh, they only play with this gun at the start of the vibe because the 7.62 caliber, it's a great caliber. 
you have access to FMJ and PS pretty early on from level 1 and level 2 crap war. Uh, it's a hard hitting round. You can start modding it pretty early on. It's just a well rounded gun. You have access to it at level 1. Next is VPO 209. That goes right to B tier for me. Uh, the reason for that is because of the 366 AP ammo. Uh, so earlier in the wipe, you have access to 366 TKM. It's a decent round, 30 penetration and I think 70 or 80 damage. It's a really good one. But from that point to the points that you get to use the 366 AP, this gun is basically useless. And the next gun is SAG AK545. This goes right to F tier for me. Uh, on paper, this gun works. Uh, you, it, you're gonna say, hey, it's ADR just in 545 caliber, but in reality, it's just so bad. Uh, it's expensive, it's about 70 to 80,000 rubles to buy it at later skier level two or three. So at that point, there's so many better guns that you can buy like AK-74, uh, 74M, uh, and even AKS-74U, the baby AK. They are all better than this gun. Don't use this gun, I never use it. Then we have SAG AK-445 short. This is just the worst version than SAG AK-545. It's shorter, with worse recoil, more expensive for some reason, and it's, it's, it's just garbage. Don't use it. If you get it, just sell it to the vendor, and with that 20-30 thousand rubles that they give you, just go buy and they're gone. Finally, after a couple F tier guns, we have our S tier, and that is OPSKS. Man, this gun is great i it's one of my favorite guns in the game uh, you can buy it from jaeger level one right up for 33,000 rubles that's one of the great things then you have access to uh, fmj at proper level one and then uh, at proper level two you can get the ps ammo for it and that 762 by 39 just hits like a tank uh, the only difference between the vpo 136 and opsks is opsks feels better when you mod it a little bit, it recenters faster than VPO 136, and both of them be semi automatic, so that's really important. Then we have the SKS that goes right to the S tier by OPSKS. No, I'm actually joking. That goes right to A tier. Not even. Uh, I think SKS is a good gun that I put it on in B tier. Um, I think. It's a good gun if you have access to it. The only thing is, it lacks that dovetail mount that OPSKS has. And that's a really big deal for me. So if you want to mount a scythe, you have to mount it up front of the gun. And that's not too good. Um, the, for budget, just running it with internal 10 rounder mag, sure, it's a good gun. Use it that way. But modding, I think, be just better to buy the OPSKS over SKS. And finally, we get to the two new guns that got added to the game this wipe, and that is SVT and AVT. Uh, I gotta rank this together. SVT for the goes to uh, B tier for me, right here, and AVT goes to A tier. All right, now let me explain. So for AVT, the reason uh, that is better than SVT in my opinion is because it's fully automatic gun. You can just spray it. It's only 15 rounders i know and you cannot put the sight on it but it's the best way to kill uh heavily geared people or uh, to kill the scab bosses none of the scab bosses can withstand this gun you just go kill killer uh kill tequila glue heart anybody they just drop with this gun when you put it in full auto the hip fire also is really good, so you don't need specifically to aim down sight uh, when you're doing it. All right, lastly, let's talk about SVT and why I put it in B tier. And the reason for that is I don't like this gun at all. Uh, I don't use it. I don't like it. Um, and the reason for that is firstly, uh, you get it in mid wipe, basically around level 20 to 25 ish. And at that point, there's much, much better guns. You cannot do much to it. You cannot suppress it. You cannot put any tactical device on it. Uh, the only thing you can do is to put a 15-rounder magazine, which you unlock at level 3 
Crapor, and then a PU sight, which PU sight is 3.5 X scope. So it's not that great of a scope either. It's the same one as you can use on the Mosin. And it's just not a great gun, not a great sight. It's not good for sniping at all. Uh, because if you, you cannot suppress it, so as soon as you shoot somebody and miss, they're gonna turn around and lead you up. Or if there's a two or three man or there's a squad, then the rest of them, you drop the first one, the rest of them know where exactly you are because it's such a loud gun as well. At the end, thanks for joining me on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Also, ring the bell so you are not missing the future tier list videos that are coming out very, very soon. In the comment section, let me know what you think and how you would change this tier list to your likings. Your support means the world to me. Also, for more bite-sized contents, check out my TikTok or to stay connected, join my Discord channel. Links in the description below. Until next time, take care, stay awesome, and I see you in the next one.